Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. It's Ethany and it's Friday, which means it's First Impressions Friday on my channel. And today I have got a lovely package from the wonderful people from Liminal uh, Publishing. Um, even though it had fragile all over it, they this thing nearly did not make it in one piece. It is like the shit has been kicked out of this box. So um, yeah, fun, fun times. <laughs> I was like, my, the post people here are savages. Just FYI, if anyone's going to send anything to me, they are savages. They do not listen to do not bend. They don't give a crap about fragile. They will just beat the absolute living snot out of all packages that are sent. So that's just a, that's just a little FYI. If anyone's sending anything to Canada, they don't give a flying flukla. Alrighty, what have we got here? Oh, crud. Um, ooh, so I've got the, doo -doo -doo, the Modern Witch Tarot Deck by Lisa, um, is it Sterell? I have been gagging over this and everyone, uh, a lot of people know how this meme of like, everything's fine with the Ten of Swords that went around, um, a, a while ago and now we have a full deck and as you can see, even just from the box, it is very Rider Waite Smith. Uh, inspired it is it is what you would call a clone deck but it is meant to represent and invoke modern uh, modern tarot so which you know if you know me I am totally down with so I've got this beautiful thing this beautiful thing, this beautiful uh, deck that I'm going to be sharing with you I also got a lovely embroidered look at that beautiful gold MW modern witch pouch can never have too many pouches a tower card um postcard and this is from the cosmic slumber tarot by tilly walden that's coming out um i don't know if i'd ever send this to anybody can you imagine getting <laughs> can you imagine getting the tower if you knew anything about tarot and someone sent you a tower postcard you'd be like <laughs> what's gonna happen and then i've got the uh the little Oh, little B, uh, the little, oh my gosh, words, words, uh, <laughs> catalog. Oi, it is, it has just been, and it just shows you quite a few of the different things. Oh, that's cute. These are little pins. Lots of different things that they do at the, uh, the liminal press lots of stuff so that is what i have been sent oh cute tales of the tarot so we've got even a little comic there a little web comic so there is a bunch of beautiful things that this uh company does oh so pretty uh so it is yeah women patterns and plants gorgeous alrighty I'm gonna stop looking at that because that is not interesting and that's not what you're here for <laughs> well it might be but uh, it's all about you and going through this deck together so let's switch over those cameras and go and discover the modern witch tarot deck alrighty so now we're going to explore the modern witch tarot deck by Lisa sterile 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 I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your name incorrectly um, and this is printed by uh, the liminal11.com. Uh, as I mentioned before, I got a postcard and this beautiful pouch and their little catalog as well. This is the second deck that I have from uh, Liminal. I have also have the Liminal Tarot, which I love, 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 love. This is a beautiful box. It's a box like the uh, first edition of the Ancestral Path Tarot. Look at that. One thing that I have to remember with the Ancestral Path Tarot is not to pick it up from the top. I've done that a number of times and I've, no, not the Ancestral Path Tarot. I have a tarot box that has the Ancestral Path Tarot in it, the first edition that opens like this and I've picked it up wrong a number of times and it's been 78 card pickup. You know that fun game. I'm sure many of you have done that that before. And then we have the box. Oh, ah, oh, interesting. It's got a little flap. 
Is that meant to stay in there? I'm very intrigued by that. Okay, we've still got all these cards coming out all higgledy piggledy, but that's okay. Order is overrated. Oh, it had like a little, it had a little, um, sorry, the dog was trying to eat something. It had a little plastic tie on it and it was getting all stuck. I think you're supposed to like lift that out. Well, well done, Ethany. <laughs> and then we have the guidebook. The inside is so Super fucking awesome. Look how cool that is. That is really cool. Like, I don't even know if we needed that pouch. This box is pretty amazing. And then we have that iconic Ten of Swords, which got this, I'm pretty sure got this whole party started. And then that. So we're going to go through that in a minute. This is the beautiful deck. That almost Tiffany turquoise is light blue, whatever you want to call it, is really pretty. Uh, we have a nice thick cardstock. That might be 400 GSM. It's thick. She's, she's thick. Um, and it, that design on the back is really beautiful too. It is Modern Witch. That's very clever. Very lucky too, right? Like you can have the MW. Reversible. It's really bad. It has a nice shine. So far, so bloody good. It's really pretty. Now, this is not in order, everyone, because it's just not. The Empress. I have seen so many people with this deck on social media. I've seen quite a few um, unbox not unboxings, people using it. I haven't seen any unboxings. I love that high priestess with that laptop. Uh, this took a really long time to get from the the liminal and it wasn't their fault it was just the time of year it being like Christmas and everything but it did arrive uh, and as soon as I got a chance to open it up I did the high priestess the magician which is the cover and she is divine as above so below the fool Headphones in, phone in hand, and not listening. <laughs> it's like, hello, millennials, which technically I think I am. <laughs> Just insulted myself. And then the chariot. That's so cool. Even see, like, there's even though it's like, yes, it's a Rider Waite Smith clone. I mean, there's a lot that has been thought about, right? Like the moons on her. So the sides there, the stars and the crown, that's all from the original, the sphinxes and the city behind obviously as well, but there's the little details are, um, are well done here. The lovers. This very cool. I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this one. The hierophant. We have a female hierophant. And a more feminine looking emperor with that ram head. As someone who has created their own modern deck, I'm all for it. Oh, here we go. This, <laughs> you are a badass being full of life, love and possibilities. Through this deck, may you find a path to your best self. So we have a little affirmation card. Now, this is really higgledy piggledy. It must have been the way that they printed it because sometimes it can get... This is the everything is fine. Everything is fine one. The meme that uh, was running that Lisa, I believe, did that piece of artwork and then the internet went nuts over it. And rightfully so because it's very good. The King of Pentacles. Do they all have to be... Oh, sorry. Freaking knew that was going to happen too. Upside down. The Queen of Pentacles. Knight. This is going to be really easy to transfer strength. Uh, any 
tarot knowledge that you have around the Rider Waite Smith onto this, the Page of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. It's just really beautiful. The artwork is bold and stunning. The color blocking again is very reminiscent to the original Rider Waite Smith. Um, so it has this like it honors it, but it's also really fun and new. The Seven of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles, Five. So it may you may not have the most the biggest deviation because it's not really much of a deviation from the tradition. But I mean, does it need to be? Like it's really well done. That's a you know a very different interpretation of the Three of Pentacles, and I love it. But some of them are very similar and some of them have a, a more um, unique take. Like in the Two of Pentacles in most traditional Rider Waite Smith, we have like an ocean in the background, which is with high waves and ships rolling on it. So we have here grass and mountains, but this is very similar except for the archway in the Ace of Pentacles. You can tell I look at tarot cards a lot. <laughs> The King of Swords, I love it. The butterflies still, and the birds, the Queen, which is my tarot archetype. And I want those shoes. The Knight, so cool. The Page of Swords, I can see that this, like I said, I'm being going to use this straight away. Ten of Swords. Oh, cool. So the everything is fine as an extra card. Sweet. I think I'm going to pop this on. I have a tarot board. Many of you who've watched my channel for a while know that. And that's where like extra cards go or affirmations go or little thank you cards that come with things if I don't pass them on to other people. Uh, in regards to like putting a little surprise in their mailbox, I tend to hold on to them on my tarot wall and I have a huge one, so that'll go on the tarot wall. The Nine of Swords. This is going to immediately go into my, um, my working space after it's been blessed for work. So a couple that need to be, uh, that I want to cleanse and bless. Seven of Swords, yes, love it. Six of Swords. I am a, a fan of the Rider Waite Smith so Five of Swords, so I, I really like it. Four of Swords. Oh, cool. So she's not a petrified knight. She's actually just like asleep on. Well, I don't even know if you want to call that asleep. <laughs> Usually, when your hand is over your face like that, you're not asleep. Oh, yeah, that hurts. Uh, the, the Three of Swords. Two. The Ace. The King. Really rad. Lisa, I love it. The queen. Oh, I love that her dress is almost like of the ocean. And that cup is so pretty. Looks a little ornamental versus being very easy to drink out of, but I really do like it. <laughs> Who needs functionality? <laughs> it's pretty. The Knight of Cups. Page of Cups. The Ten of Cups. Again, this is all like just gorgeous. I sit here like just saying how much I like it. <laughs> you just like turn on some different music and just watch me flip it over if that annoys you. <laughs> Going on a journey, the eight. The eclipse. 
seven. Okay, what have we got in here? I love looking at what's inside the cups of the seven of cups whenever there is uh, that card in a deck. We've got the snake, a little tornado, a laurel reef, which is success, money and gems, a fist, which can be power or rebellion, depending on what, what you see there. A heart with wings and a crown for divine love and a rose. They're really cool. I'm always like looking at like what people will put in there. There's seven of cups, six of cups. I like how the cups are pink. Makes sense. Heart chakra, pink for emotions. The five. The four of cups. Over it. <laughs> over it yep that's that like sums it up there that shirt that says over it the three of cups we're at Coachella and we're gonna like totally read the tarot sorry couldn't help myself two of cups not that I don't like it it's just like that's what it reminded me of oh I like the lighthouse in the background I see having two females and the two of cups is uh, something that's taking on I wonder who did that as well the Ace of Cups, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, oh she's got the Vertigel Vert Vertigelio, I can't pronounce it properly. The Knight of Wands, so as you can see we have quite a lot of diversity in this deck. We have different body shapes, different uh, skin tones, the page of wands, ten of wands, which is my, you know, I like seeing diversity in my decks, nine of wands, oh she's so cool, like the, uh, a, a jogger or a runner, the eight of wands, Seven of Wands, she's badass. These boots are made for walking, and that's just what I do. Victory, Six of Wands. Five of Wands. Four of Wands. That's right, Queen. You work on that phone. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? Like we wouldn't be surveying like ships necessarily. We'd be looking at our phone, checking our emails, checking our bank accounts. It makes total sense. <clears throat> the world. Judgment. The sun. The moon, oh, I like the uh, masks there. And then we've got, instead of the lobster creature coming out from the water, we have this almost hag-like creature with a red eye. The shadow, the star. The tower. Wait, someone got impaled. It's just not fun. The devil. Temperance, she's gorgeous too. Death. The Hanged One. Justice. Oh, I can hear upstairs, but you probably can too. Wheel of Fortune. And the hermit putting closing that laptop very 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 pretty Again, sorry if you can hear that's actually my son running around upstairs the 
really gorgeous. I'm just gonna give this a quick, a quick shuffs, quick shuffs. And then we're gonna have a look at the guidebook. It is quite thick, so it's probably gonna take a bit of, it does shuffle nicely though, once you can kind of get into it. Depending on how you shuffle, I rip the shuffle. I'm just laughing kind of like at my son. I'm like, the second I want to do, it's hard. It's school holidays, so he's at home, which is great. It just means that my little bundle of joy is running around thumping because he's like me and I thunder like an elephant. Okay, so we got the Modern Witch's Guide. It's a little hardcover book. Very, very nice. Forward by Rita. Okay, introduction by Lisa. I was right. It all started with the Ten of Swords. It was a few years into a dead end design job that was draining my creativity. And there we go. And that's how that everything is fine. So I was right. <laughs> okay, the Major Arcana. And we move into it. So we get a page per card. And, let's see if that, and then when we move into the Minor Arcana, we get a little paragraph. And then we have Taurus Spurs in the back. Let's have a look. Okay, then we have Reading the Tarot. Spread, so one card. Four card spread instead of three. Oi, here we go. Hello, ladies. And then the four powers. The path. This one over here. And then the cunning path, which is an alternative. And then the inner wheel. So this is a uh, sabbat based tarot spread for the wheel of the year. And then extra cards. It's really cool. It's very, very cool. I'm going to enjoy working with this deck quite a bit. And uh, I was, it was one of the decks that I was really anticipating for 2019. It did not disappoint. I will place in the description box below where you can go and get your copy of the Modern Witch Tarot deck by Lisa. Um, I'm not going to pronounce your surname again because I probably butchered it every time I have. Uh, and as always, everyone, thank you so very much for watching.